Now we're into the real big boy, CVO Street Glide. Okay, <laughs> can't really reach the kickstand. This is an 866 pound monster, I think. And I will have the exact number down there for you. Little load up screen there. Oh, I'm gonna turn this off so that we don't get some uh, copyright hit. Now before we start, I'm a 5'6 with about a 30 inch inseam, and before we start, I don't really, I can get both feet on the ground solidly. I mean, it's tiptoe, but it's not like tippy tippy toe. Uh, I'll put the exact right height down here in the video so you can see, but it, it's, it's, not, it's not unmanageable. I, I would say definitely not like a first, first bike for a shorter rider. You're gonna to wanna to get comfortable on something a little more manageable as far as size goes. But as a long time rider, this is absolutely uh, manageable. One of the things that I noticed early on when I first rode a Harley touring bike is that uh, these touring bikes, the clutch is, is, is a little bit tight. Uh, hard, hard to pull in. Now, you know, if you're a big guy or a big gal, it's really strong, you might not find that, but as opposed to any other bike that I've ridden, you know, I've ridden other Harleys, I've ridden uh, sport bikes, I've ridden sport nakeds. Uh, we don't get that same feeling. Now we do have the heel shifter here, so we kind of have to be careful uh, that we don't mess with that. I'll have the exact color of the motorcycle down here on the screen for you so you know exactly what we're riding here. But uh, some pretty awesome attention to detail as far as uh, fit and finish on this bike. Oh, and it's such a, such a, so easy with the power on this bike. Whew, that is nice. And just as you would suspect, just as you would suspect on a touring bike like this, I mean, just super plush. Now this fairing is going to obstruct your view of a little bit, but uh, because it's not like a full fairing with a giant windshield on here, uh, this this has uh, has no bearing on what I can see on the road ahead. Now some really clear instrumentation here on the dash. You've got your fuel gauge. Uh, you got battery voltage here all the way on the right, tachometer just to the right of your speedometer. Uh, and standard Harley controls with a little extra because you've got controls for the dash here on your handlebars. But we've got right and turn, right and left turn signals both on the left and the right. Oh, this thing corners like a dream so smooth but i think this is trip control uh this bike does come standard with the tri pressure monitoring system along with all of your rdrs harley davidson safety features so super safe bike super comfortable bike uh traction control abs all those all the good stuff that you would expect and i mean for a bike that's 40 plus thousand dollars to start no i wouldn't expect anything less but still uh, just 
just gripping these uh, these hand grips, I'm guessing that they're heated. Uh, if you're on a long ride, on a cold day, that's going to come in handy. Uh, you got your horn on your left here. I'm just getting back to the controls. High and low beam. Uh, your push to talk here along with the, the left blinker here. And then below you have, I'm, what I'm guessing is your, your cruise control. And then your toggle for your home screen. On the right here you've got hazards, ignition on, bike on and off switch. You've got your right blinker, some more toggling, and then what looks like the back button for your, your screen. Lots to be distracted with here when you're riding one of these big time Harley Davidson cruisers. You're getting on the freeway, this is going to be awesome. Oh, that sounded as burly. And just, I mean, the, the, this is a 117 cubic inch. Milwaukee 8 engine with a big sucker air cleaner and man this thing just what well, you want to talk about easy power I mean this thing gets you going like nothing now if you're familiar with sport bikes when you pull on that throttle and you get going at, at top speeds like that you're gonna feel it right you're leaning forward but you're also gonna feel that torque on this, this touring bike, you really don't feel that. Uh, it, I, would, I would almost liken it to when you ride like in a car. When you really gun it on a car, you know, you don't really feel that, that those G-forces. You don't feel the, the torque of, of you taking off. And same with this CVO uh, Street Glide. I mean, it's just so easy. So really comfortable ride. When you, once you get up to speed, even at slow speeds, it was really easy to maneuver. This thing is a dream to ride. Uh, the, the seat here, the saddle on the CVO Street Glide, just holds you in place. And it doesn't, it's not just one of those saddles that holds you in place, it's also very cushy. So, uh, and I believe uh, uh, that you probably have, if not standard, an optional seat warmer. So, you got all these features that you would expect on the top of the line. I mean, absolute, uh, they call it CVO for Custom Vehicle Operations. And, uh, and it's no doubt, it's, it's decked out ready for you to go and there's no need to customize these bikes obviously people still will one thing that of note if you've never ridden a uh, a touring bike with a big fairing in front you're gonna get uh, wind buffeting which is the, the wind kind of being very turbulent at your head and so riding this bike at speed on the highway as comfortable it is and as much as air is not hitting me at all in the chest I mean it, it's just such a comfortable ride I am getting a lot of turbulence here in my head. There are ways I've heard to get rid of that. Uh, you can get a taller windshield. We're gonna give a good stomp on the, on the ABS here, just to get an idea. Oh yeah, that's stopping power. I mean, you've got the dual, the dual discs in front and the single disc in back. high speed this thing handles so nicely especially when you're talking about an 800 plus pound bike nothing to worry about now the suspension I'm gonna put it here so you can so you can read it for yourself uh, is just so plush uh, it is adjustable as well so man just absorbs everything uh, and also when you're at speed when you're at slow speed it doesn't matter it just takes everything and makes it just such a comfortable ride. Oh yeah, we leaned into that turn pretty good and it just handles it so well. I'm not gonna, there's gravel in this turn so I'm not gonna mess around and try and really lean into this one since we felt that one.
Okay, so there's a governor on the tack here so that if you rev too high, the bike will just uh, will stop revving. That's, that's something I'm not familiar with uh, riding my sport bikes, my sport naked, and uh, my Roadster even. You know, the tech probably wasn't there in 2002. That's how old my, my Sportster is. But this bike, uh, if, you, if you rev too high, it just it lets off of it for you so that you know you need to, to shift. We've got the boom audio here on this bike, and, and we're not going to test it out, like I said, because I'm not going to take a copyright hit on, on this video. But you can see we've got two speakers here that actually have, uh, looks like a, maybe a mid-range and a tweeter inside each of these speakers, one each. And then you've got, you've got speakers on the bags. So the sound here is going to be really nice. They've, they've actually upgraded the speaker system, I believe just, just recently in 2021, to the Rockford Fosgate. So you're gonna get really, really nice sound. So maybe you're looking at, at uh, this 117 cubic inch engine and you're thinking, oh, that's, that's a lot. That is a big engine. Um, you know, I'm just wanting to graduate to a bigger bike and maybe 117 is too much. Uh, if you've got the money and you are thinking about a touring bike, I, I wouldn't let the 117 uh, intimidate you because it's the power is linear. We're going to show you here. We're just going to roll on nice and soft and show you that the bike's just going to give you a, what you what you put in. So if you give it a light twist, that's what you're going to get back. But I mean, if you really want to get on it, it's going to give you that too. So uh, don't let that intimidate you. Uh, if you're considering a touring bike for the first time and <laughs> maybe you got your your stimulus and your, your tax return and you're thinking oh I got a little money money to spend here yeah don't put the the street glide the cbo street glide past you if it's uh that 117 as big as that motor is it's manageable so i'm purposely hitting all these potholes here just to see how it handles and out of all the bikes i've ridden today i've ridden uh street Street Bob, Fat Boy, and S Sport Glide. I mean, this thing just absorbs everything. You're gonna ride on this thing all day, as long as this giant gas tank can take you. <laughs> Speaking of giant gas tank, yes, we know that we're low on fuel. Yeah, you're gonna be able to ride as long as you want because uh, this gas tank is going to end up depleting sooner than you're gonna be ready to get off of it. So I don't want to talk too much about this uh, instrumentation, this, this infotainment center on this bike because there are plenty of videos and I'll actually link that for you in the description. So if you have questions about the infotainment system, you can check out a, a full video that's going to give you much more than I can tell you. But this display, what I can say, this display just absolutely uh, bright vibrant, super clear, and I'm guessing that the glass on here is, is, is very durable. Yeah, it passes the balance test too because I didn't put my feet down there until the last second and it just handled it so well. We'll do it again here. This is just kind of like my personal, how does this bike balance? How is it weighted? Is it top heavy? Is it too much to handle? Am I gonna be fighting it all the time? The answer is no. This thing, this thing rolls itself. All right. I'm loving the sound on this bike. Loving the feel. Loving the fit and finish. Uh, this is a pricey bike. This bike isn't for everybody. So if you got a chance to ride one on a, on a demo ride, get out and ride it because it's a treat and it's something special. But it's even more special than a special. It is the CVO Street Glide of the year 2021. I said that weird. I don't know why I said it that way. But guys, this is a fantastic bike. Uh, if you have any questions about the CVO Street Glide, make sure you leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them, as well as uh, anyone else who might be viewing this video will also be able to let you know their impressions. Uh, you know, paint is paint, and the fit and finish on this bike is second to none. But I will say, I will say I, I've liked CVO Street Glides of years past. 
uh, their paint better. Not to say that this isn't a fantastic looking bike, uh, but to each their own. Yeah, taking that corner at a little bit higher speed. Yeah, this just absolutely handles like a freaking dream. But guys, this video is coming to a close as we come back to the dealer. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Come back and see me. Guys, if you are out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I am that one guy. And I'm out.